Okay, so I want to see the thin walls. I want to see how that works. Oh, we have the G36 here? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. The G36 is here? On the Kraken map? What is this? Oh, we found a sticky bomb. We found a sticky bomb. We found a sticky bomb. Look at that. If you guys see these uh, inside buildings, then remember that you can shoot through them. Which is gonna really change the... It's gonna change the mechanics of the game drastically. So let's go ahead and use a sticky bomb real quick. High toss or low toss? Okay, so it beeps. Throw it. It sticks. Three seconds. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Walls coming at you with another PUBG mobile video and we're here in the beta playing the brand new 1.3 version that has just been released and with that came a lot of big updates to the game. The biggest update is probably the brand new classic Kraken map is finally here. It's been out on PUBG PC for a while and it's coming to PUBG Mobile in the next update. So if you can go to select mode, scroll down to the map selection, you guys will see that we have the map size, two by two kilometers, features lots of hills, little vegetation, short matches, great for fast pace, mid to close range. So real quick, if you guys are new here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel for some daily PUBG Mobile content and also turn on the notification bell to not miss out on any future videos. And if you guys can do me a huge favor and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, would greatly appreciate it. Using the OnePlus AT to get into the beta. So real quick, I want to give a big shout out to OnePlus for being today's sponsor. Make sure to go ahead and check out their store. Link is down below in the description. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase a new device or maybe get some wireless buds, that is the place to go. So real quick, I want to show you guys the patch notes to show you guys what's new because we have a lot of new things. And then from there, we'll hop into the map. I promise you guys it'll be super fast. So let's go ahead and go to the patch notes real quick. All right, no time to waste. So we have the patch notes beta 1.3 version, the new classic mode map. Kraken is located on the coast of North Africa. It stretches two square kilometers and is dry, open, and full with rocks. On Kraken, every moment will challenge you. It is a small and thrilling map that combines Miramar tension with Sandhawk fast-paced gameplay. Sounds great. A maximum of 64 players can participate in each match. You will experience long-range rifle battles in the mountains, city battles that require strategy, and tension-filled battles in the dark underground with the unpredictable Demolition Zone and Kraken's new features. Each game will feel like you're fighting on a different battlefield. So sounds exciting. We have a new zone coming here, a new mechanic. The demolition zone can instantly turn Kraken's buildings to ashes. Designed to make players leave their buildings, it causes random damage to buildings and may even completely destroy them and everything in it. The process of the buildings turning into ruins happens in real time during the match. Even during the late game, the buildings here may still disappear at any time. And if you find yourself in a purple area on the minimap, when the alarm sounds, escape immediately. So that sounds pretty intense. We have a purple zone now. So instead of a red zone, we're gonna have a purple zone. I haven't seen much gameplay on the PUBG PC version. So uh, this is all kind of new to me. We have thin wall bullet penetration. To make fighting indoors more fun, we added the bullet penetration to thin walls and Kraken. If you find an enemy hiding behind a damaged wall, you can choose to engage immediately or retreat temporarily and wait for the support. So now you can shoot through walls, which is insane. And then we have a sticky bomb, which is a new throwable. In order to create more variables for players to stay in the same area for a long time, we added sticky bombs and walls that can be destroyed by them to Kraken. The sticky bombs can stick to walls and blow them up. This will introduce more exciting gameplay for players to experiment with. Isn't that insane? So we have we have a new sticky bomb, which is a new throwable, a new mechanic, which is the thin wall bullet penetration, and then we have the demolition zone, as well as a new firearm, the Panzerfoss. So we also have a few other photos here. We have a motor glider that's gonna be an Erringo Miramar, and then we also have a Mosin Nagant sniper rifle, uh, I believe is only on Erringo and Vikendi. So let's go ahead and scroll down real quick. I'll show you guys some photos. New arena map, it looks like. And then we also have, obviously, the, the biggest update of them all is the Kraken map, a new vehicle, which is the motor glider, and then the new firearm, which looks like an RPG. So that's going to be insane. Real quick, I want to see where is the motor glider at? Where is that located and on what maps? Erangel and Miramar. So almost all the new updates are coming to Erangel, Miramar, Erangel, and Vikendi. And then we have the Panzerfoss. This will spawn around Kraken. So this is a, a Kraken weapon. So... There you guys have it. Those are the new updates. I'll make a separate video going more in depth uh, with the patch notes and I'll talk about all the new updates that are coming because this isn't all of them. This is just the, the main ones. But from there on, 
I'll make a separate video. So let's go ahead and go into the Kraken map and we'll jump right in. I'm honestly so excited. I don't know what it is about me, but I just feel like a little kid and it's Christmas. So we have, oh, look at that. Wow, so this, this really looks a lot like, this looks a lot like Miramar. So I don't know where my buttons are at. Are they all just hidden? I think I have them completely transparent. Oh, so I think these are the walls that you can shoot through, if I'm not mistaken. These have to be the thin walls that they're talking about in the patch notes. Go ahead and keep on keep on moving over here. So guys, 64 players, let me know real quick in the comment section down below what you guys think of the Kraken map and if you guys are excited to play it, or if you guys will probably just keep on playing Erangel or Miramar. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me know what is your guys' favorite map so far, and if you guys think that the Kraken map will take that position and be your favorite map when the update drops. Me personally, you guys know me, I love Samhawk. I don't play it much whenever I'm rank grinding just because it's uh, it's pretty hectic, but so it looks like there's no places to really land in the center of the map. The majority of them are far out in the distance. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Bashara. Okay. Okay, so I want to see the thin walls. I want to see how that works. Oh, we have the G36 here? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. The G36 is here? On the Kraken map? I wonder if it's available on all the maps now, because I've been asking them. I've been... Hold on. No, that's not... That's not a thin wall. Noob. So guys, we have the G36 here finally on a different map besides Vikendi. I've been asking them on Twitter and even I've been messaging them personally and telling them, hey, is it possible for like us to have the G36? The Black Zone begins now? Oh, so the, why is it called the Black Zone? But then it's purple. That's kind of weird. So <laughs> anyways, so yeah, these buildings are kind of, they're kind of funny. They're uh, a little funky and they're... What is that? Those are just plates. So what I want to find is I want to find the thin walls. I want to see where those are located. What is this? Oh, we found a sticky bomb. We found a sticky bomb. We found a sticky bomb. Look at that. Of course, there's no one really playing. It's all, all low IQs, but where do you place the sticky bombs? I think you place it right here, right? My guess is that these are where the sticky bombs... Oh, I think these are the thin walls. Those are the thin walls. Yep, these are the thin walls. So, if you guys see these uh, inside buildings, then remember that you can shoot through them. Which is going to really change the... It's going to change the mechanics of the game drastically. So, let's go ahead and use the sticky bomb real quick. High toss or low toss? Okay, so it beeps. Throw it. It sticks. Three seconds. What? Look at that. So if you guys see any of those brick walls around the map, you can also use the sticky bombs and create a, I guess an opening to a building or I don't know. That's more, yeah, like here too. You can also throw one there. Let's do this. So the timer is five seconds or six seconds. One of those. It also makes them sound. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's get out of here. I'm definitely going to keep my, my G36. Thank you so much, Tencent, for, for adding that to other maps. The G36 should be on all maps. That's just my opinion. The G36 should be available on all maps. I would love to use it on Erangel. It's just uh, it's just a fun gun to use. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a vehicle. There's also that rocket launcher, right? That rocket launcher is also here on the Kraken map. But whether we find it or not is going to be uh, going to be up to the game. I want to go to one of these black zones, is what they call it. I mean, it's a purple zone. I don't know why it's called black zone, but black zone begins now. Look, it, it's even purple. It's even purple, and it says the black zone has begun now. So it's really small, to be honest. I want to see it live. Look at this map, though. It's beautiful. Got the palm trees and stuff. This will be an interesting map to go ahead and rank grind in, for sure. Especially with all these weapons that are available, the IEDs as well. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty insane. Are there any grenades? I haven't seen one grenade. You can't go through there. Oh, yeah. 
That building's not available to use. Got some more things that we can... So there's no way to go into this building, but if you use an IED, you can actually enter. So, in order to enter this building, you need to have an explosive, which is actually pretty crazy because that's all, that's something that I've never seen before when it comes to a building. Yeah, so you can only enter that building if you have an IED. So we should uh, we should look for one and see what's inside. Hills and hills and hills. Oh, there's a crate. Only 12 people left, so I want to show you guys a little more of the map, but uh, I want to get that purple zone, but it just focused over on Al Habar. What is this? Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. What? He just saw that. He thinks I'm a noob. That was on accident. Yeah, that was not supposed to happen. Look, we're just gonna edit that out. Oh, we have a sticky bomb. We have a sticky bomb. All right, so we found the sticky bomb. How about we head back to that building that we can only enter if we use a bomb on it? And let's see what's inside. Over here. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one right here. So let's go ahead and use this. Ah, uh, leave me alone. All right, use this real quick. Oh, I was about to miss. Oh, will that even count? Yeah, I was a little short. What's inside? What's in here? Wait, what? Okay. It's just loot. It's just loot. It looks like there's just like an armory. Imagine if this was the final circle and there was only one entrance and all you had to do was just hold that angle. Because there are no other openings except for, you know, these if they use bombs. But if they don't have bombs, they cannot enter the building. That's actually pretty intense. We have eight people left, so. Overall, though, I actually enjoy the map. I think that it's really, really... I don't know, it just reminds me a lot of Miramar, but then also that Sandhawk, as they said in the patch notes, right? It has, it has that mix of fast-paced gameplay with the hills of Miramar, which is actually pretty fun. What I would like to see more of is the Black Zone, bro. It's, like, only outside of the map. It's not appearing inside the circle, which I want to see. I want to see how it works. It's outside of circle again. Maybe the reason as to why it's it's always outside of circle is because you have to be around the buildings. Like you have to be around those huge cities like Al Habar, you know, or Arika Nemo, Bashara. Because if you're here in the center, there aren't really that many buildings that it can destroy. And I think that's what it's really focused on is the buildings themselves. It's also really really small compared to like the red zone. So. Cracking map though, pretty OP so far. Oh, we got some grass here. We have a few buildings that we can we can enter. Oh, we can also get on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. There's a lot of angles you have to hold though. The graphics I have at the moment are smooth and extreme, but if we change them up, I think they would actually look a lot better. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now look at this, dude. We have HDR and extreme so far. We got a player over here. We just want to keep them alive though, because we don't want to kill anybody. Who's he shooting at though? Oh, I think they're fighting. Oh yeah, they're fighting. We got the HDR and Extreme. Well, actually, I have this since the beginning. Oh well. Where's the Black Zone though? I don't think that the Black Zone's coming, guys. We're not gonna be. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's outside a circle. What's up with that? Look at this. Here we have the Kraken map, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we were not able to find the black zone and witness it, but we did find the rocket launcher, which we found at the crate, and I shot on accident, so please don't laugh at me. We also found, uh, we found out that the G36 is here on the Kraken map, and then we found the bombs that we can use for the walls. Oh, what is this? Oh, dude, we don't have a sticky bomb. These are for the tunnels. These are for the tunnels. Oh, where are the sticky bombs? Hold on. Let's see if- Oh, this guy's literally outside a circle! Don't die! I'm looking for the sticky bombs! Well, that's gonna be the end, guys. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button. It would really help out a ton. And drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys think that you'll be playing the new Kraken map. I would like to go check out the tunnels as well as check out the Black Zone, but uh, we're not able to get it this time. So hopefully, on our next video of the update, 
we will oh here's an m4 but hopefully on the next video that we do for the update we're gonna go ahead and have the opportunity to do those two things so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you all on the next one peace